welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as cricket win predictor using machine learning or random forest so in this project we are going to use random forest algorithm for the prediction of win or loss in the cricket match so we have used NetBeans IDE 8.2 so first open the NetBeans IDE 8.2 in this project we have used Maven so you need to follow some instruction before the execution of the project so just go to the project folder here you can see Apache Maven just copy this rare file go to your C program C drive and just paste it now you need to extract this by clicking right click and click extract here so now the folder has been extracted now we need to configure maven in the NetBeans and after that only we can import the project so kindly follow this step so now go to the NetBeans IDE here you can see the in the menu part you can see the tools option just click this tools option you can see options in the last part just click this options so here you can see different tabs you can see this java tab just click this java tab in that you can see different tabs you can see maven in it just select this maven so after going to this maven tab here you can see maven home just click this drop down here you can see default will be bundle now you need to select this browse menu so once if you select this browse menu it will be showing the select maven installation location just go to the c drive where we have pasted that apache maven so just you can see here see the folder apache maven here just see this plus symbol just click it now you can see the folders available in it so just select this apache maven and click open and now you need to select this apply option and click ok now the important step is you need to close this NetBeans IDE you need to restart it again so just close it and then open it So now maven has been configured so now go to the file menu now let us import the project so just go to the open project now select the source code source code location so inside the source code you can see India prediction just select it and click open project and select this India prediction and click open project now the important thing is like in this uh, this is a maven project so the jar the, when the video install when we are executing the first time the jar files will be created automatically so for that purpose you should have your proper internet connection for the first time so now you need to right click it and click run So after two to three minutes of time, you can see the project is being deployed in the browser part. So this time varies according to your system requirements and your internet connection, all the things. So now you can see the welcome screen or home screen of the project with the project title cricket win predictor using random forest. And now you can see the menu admin, so just click this admin menu. So you okay, need to log in with the default username and password so just use the username as prediction and password is also prediction and then click login so here you can see the authentication is success and click ok so this is the home page for the admin part and here you can see the training data so just click this training data so first you need to upload the data set to train up your system so let me show you the data set So 
so this is the data set that we are going to train up with so here you can see the team score overs rpo innings opposition ground the date of it and what is the result of it so here you can see the data set records consists of 980 data set record so now let us go to the project part where you need to select the data set so just go to the project code menu where you can see the data set folder just select it and then click upload so now the thing is that I have uh, not uploaded the data uh, database so make sure that before executing the project upload the data base in your mysql so just go to the mysql administrator enter the password as root and root and go to the restore option select open backup file now go to the project folder so in that you can see database folder just select it and then click start restore now you can see the restoration operation was finished successfully message and click ok so make sure that before executing the project upload this database so there will not be any problem so now let me select this and click upload button so now you can see the data is been pre-processed and click ok now the data set is being processed so now it will be navigated to the preview part where you can see the data set that we have uploaded with the details like team score overs rpo innings opposition ground date and result of it so here you can see the entries it is showing for one out one to ten records and there are around 979 entries like this so you can just click this tab and you can see the other results of it so till 98 you can see all these details now let me click this click to try not test button now the system is ready for the prediction it will be being trained up and now it will be navigated to the prediction part so in the prediction part you can enter the test data and check the prediction results of it so now let me select one and show you few cases now let me first let me choose the opponent team so in the drop down you can see different teams like afghanistan australia england pakistan bangladesh ireland netherlands new zealand south africa sri lanka uae western Indies, zimbabwe so let me select bangladesh chasing let me choose true top batsman score in 10 overs let me select 5 india score in 10 overs as 40 bats top batsman score in 20 overs as 25 India score in 20 over as 80 top batsman score in 30 overs as 45 and India score in 30 overs as 150 now let me predict the result for this so let me select click the predict button now here you can see the prediction result is win so here you can see the percentage of the loss and win ratio so here you can see the one ratio is high it is 0 0.608 and loss ratio is 0 0.392 so the prediction result is win so and you can also this is a dynamic graph which varies according to the prediction results so you can also save this prediction result let go to save as jpeg you can chart let me select as chart one and click save so you can export the result so here you can see so this is the chart that is created so now let me go to the prediction again so let me check with some other scenario so let me select uh, the opponent team as Australia and chasing is true top batsman score in 10 overs as 8 India score in 10 over as 35 top batsman score in 20 overs is 15 India score in 20 overs is 70 top batsman score is 35 
and let me select India score in 30 overs as 100 and then click predict and now we can see the prediction result is loss because the loss ratio is high here you can see the graph is being changed now so because the loss ratio is 0 0.612 and winning ratio is 0 0.388 so we can just save this as I said earlier let me save it as chart to the desktop again and then click save and this is the second graph that is generated and in this way you can check with the other datas for the sample I have shown you with the two cases win and loss you can also check with the other uh, datas by entering the details accordingly and finally let me go to the graph analysis part in the graph analysis you can see the match analysis graph the two graphs is available India one analysis and India loss analysis uh, please note that this is a static graph this is not like earlier graph which will be varying according to the input that we are providing so this being depicted from the data set that we have trained up with so here you can see the India 1 analysis where you can see the countries in which India 1 with you can see Zimbabwe 51 South Africa 35 Bangladesh 30 Kenya 11 you can see all these details here can also export this result this is a chart 3 let me enter a chart 3 here you can see this India 1 analysis now again if you click graph analysis you can see this other button called India lost analysis just click this so here you can see the India lost analysis graph where India lost with these all these countries like New Zealand 49, Sri Lanka 57, West Indies 63 like this and you can also export this so this is the last chart and this is the exported result of India last analysis graph and let me log out from this and this is all about the project cricket win predictor using machine learning or random forest and thank you for watching